Good afternoon. Got FSD beta 11.3.3. Going to do one whole loop around Lake Junaluska near Waynesville, North Carolina. I've had to set quite a few waypoints to keep it on the road around the lake rather than going onto the main roads. Um, so I'm gonna try to remember to remove these ahead of time so that don't have any issues from that. But i um, going to just try this loop around. I already know from driving in here that it completely ignores all of the uh, 10 and 15 mile per hour speed limit signs. Um, but I'm gonna have to you know, make sure that I keep my speed scrolled down to the correct speed. Um, but I just wanted to see how well it does on some of the narrow roads that have no markings and uh, some of the, you know, heavily congested areas with a lot of pedestrians. Um, so I'm going to get started here and see how it does. And come on. All right. I, I don't know why pulling out of parking lots, it always wants to go the wrong direction. Oh, definitely not going 50. So, speed limit is actually 15. And this does not require a stop. So I'm going to snapshot that. So as you can see, there's a 15 mile per hour speed limit sign and it still thinks the speed limit is 25. It will continue to think the speed limit is 25 the entire way around the lake. So this routing is, uh, that's, that's not good. It should not go up this road. So I'm actually going to edit the trip and remove this stop now, and hopefully it will fix itself and go down the correct road. Going up there would put us through a parking lot. Is it going to fix? There we go. Perfect. So this is not a turn, and also that stop sign is not for us. It was trying to stop for the stop sign on that side road. So I hit the accelerator there. Not sure why FSD thinks every curve needs a turn signal. Um, we're just in the mountains. We have curvy roads. But it happens all the time. All right, so this uh, bridge down here is a one way, or not one way, but a one car at a time uh, take turns bridge. Um, looks like there's a car currently coming toward us, about to finish. All right, so now um, I was hoping a car would be coming toward us on the other end to show you what it shouldn't do, which is um, try to go when there's a car. So what it should do is stop. Car should stop before crossing the bridge. And I don't know why I was not wanting to go onto the bridge. All right, I've got to remove this stop. What the heck? Really bad UI 
thing there. I want to keep my... Oh, the turn signal's gone. I want to keep my turn signal up there, but if the turn signal comes on, whatever is there that you can interact with should move. And I'm hitting the accelerator because my car is trying to stop. All right, so that's where I want it to be. But what it needs to do is, um, okay, good stop. What it needs to do is if that camera view pops up, then whatever's here, whether it's uh, my trip editor, uh, the search, whatever, should automatically um, move down or over to get out of the way because otherwise I can't I can't do anything. It's the camera view's in the way. Come on. Yeah, this this version. One thing that I really don't like in version 11 so far is anytime there's a car coming toward you on a narrow road, it wants to stop. So I'm constantly hitting the accelerator on these roads right now. Um, every time a car is coming toward me, it wants to stop. And see, right now I'm in the middle of the road. This is a two-way road. It just doesn't have lines. And, uh, See, there's a car coming toward us right here. It should just stay to the right. And see, now I'm kind of in the parking lot area. Um, yeah, just. In general, narrow, unlined roads are not a, a strong suit for FSD yet. Um, this is a little better because there is a single yellow line in the middle. It's faded, but the line is there. So at least it's staying to the right. But So in this case, completely blind. I cannot see around this curve. And if it goes toward the middle... Yeah car should stay to the right in a blind curve without lines. Same thing here. Car should stay to the right and blind curve. Again, this is completely blind. I can't see anything around this curve. Um, thankfully, it's staying to the right because of the line. Um, all right, that's a good stop. It. I came through here on one version uh, a couple months ago, and it didn't want to stop for that stop sign. Doesn't slow at all for the speed bumps. And I don't think it was gonna stop. Car was not stopping quickly enough for stop sign. So yeah, it, it, it's still not great around this lake. And yeah, every time I turn it on, it tries to shoot back up to the wrong speed.
All right, so I've got a double stop here. I've got a stop here and then onto the main road down here. In the past, it actually has ignored this one before. Yep, car was not stopping for second stop sign. So, I don't know, it's kind of similar to that other one that I showed on that, um, the road when I was going toward Canton. Felt like it was pulling right out the second time. So I think, you know, this this road around this lake may be my next big test. When FSD can handle this entire thing without any input that'll be a big, big jump. So we've got one more turn in, turn into the parking lot, and we're done. Um, overall, just a lot of issues still, a lot of things to work through to be able to handle this type of road. There's nothing really crazy about it. Um, it's kind of a common thing. So you know, it really needs to handle everything that you saw. So anyway, I'm going to pull in here. We've made a complete loop. And um, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you next time. All right, just wanted to loop around again. I don't have the 360 on this time. Car should stop before crossing bridge. Another car is coming the other direction and need to take turns. Okay, so as you can see, there is another car coming. It can even see it on the visualization now. Um, so we need to wait until they cross. Okay, so let's see if it will actually go on to the bridge on its own. Nope, it just disengaged. All right, so obviously it has no idea how to handle that situation at all, whether there's a car or not. It needs to stop, take turns, and um, you know, make sure that you know no one's coming the other direction uh, before it proceeds onto the bridge. And then getting onto the bridge for some reason, it's having issues. Um, it just disengaged on its own, trying to go onto the bridge. So yeah, I, I was just uh, leaving and thought, hey, I'll try this again. Maybe I'll catch a car coming across. And sure enough, I did. Um, so anyway, yeah, thanks a lot for watching again. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, so thought I'd turn the cameras back on and uh, see if it makes the turn at the wall. Nope. And I don't know why, I'm guessing because the, the end point is so close, which is not that close, but because the end point is so close, it doesn't pop up the voice prompt. But I mean, my end point is still up around this curve. Um, I, I don't understand. I. I guess I'd have to set up a new route and have a an endpoint that's a couple miles away uh, to be able to get the voice prompt to pop up. I'll try that another day.